Hello everyone. All right, so this video is for Dean Camp who asked how are how did we do our corner post and how are they holding up? Post. So, this is actually going to be a really bad example <laughs> because we have the uh, fence down <clears throat> currently at the moment because my husband had to bury power and electrical line to the new shop. It used to be my old barn, but now it's going to be his shop. And so currently the fence is down, but this is the gift and it's holding up very well. We haven't had any problems with it. So this is how my husband came up with doing the corner post for the timeless tea fence. Uh, T-post. So all he did, this is a uh, just a, a cover that uh, you can buy at Lowe's for the four by four post. Uh, it is a treated post and then it's just like a sleeve that fits over it. Uh, it you'll have to excuse all of that mold and uh, whatever you call this. It's not mold, but algae, whatever you want to call it, that grows on there. I swear it's the Tennessee flower, no matter what anybody says. Just haven't washed it. Really easy to wash off, just haven't done it. Okay, so back to the point. Uh, he drilled holes into the post and through the sleeve and then put in this PVC pipe. Doesn't work. No, no, nay, nay, because it is... Um, what do you call it? I don't know the fancy words. Anyway, it will still, the, the fence will short out on the PVC. So if you are to use um, a pipe to run through the treated four by four post, you would need to make sure that it is for electric because otherwise you'll run into the problem that my husband ran into, which was the fence was uh, arcing off inside the post uh, in the PVC pipe. So an expensive lesson and uh, he had to figure out how to fix it because he was already kind of screwed because now it was done and, and it wasn't easy to pull out and everything else and we were moving. So we needed to hurry up and get it done. So his solution that he came up with was um, he took a uh, coating, I guess. It's just like a tube that's actually for electric so that the fence would not um, arc off on it and then he used just regular electrical tape and wrapped that whole thing put the fence through here which was a pain in his rear because that was really really hard to do and then ran the tubing through the pipe anywho <laughs> that's what we did for the corner post um we didn't add any support post on it even though you're supposed to we didn't because it was just a short distance from there to there and then we did uh one four by four post every hundred feet so there's one there and then right there we used the post that was currently being used already that was already the the post put in for the gate and then we have one here and then we used to have another one in this area but we extended the fence out and did not end up putting one back in i'll show you what we came up with that's much easier than the four by four um putting in the corner post but anyway, here's another, I don't know if you can see in there or not, if you can see how the tube runs all the way through. But, um, so when we added on to this area, because the grass was just growing and why mow it when you have horses? So we added... This is probably, I don't know, 60 feet. Eh, probably not quite 60 feet, maybe 40 feet. 
Eh, no, I'm not good with math. It's probably about 25 feet. So added one timeless T post. And then in this corner, so this is our corner post for this fence line that goes all the way up to there. And it is probably what you just discovered. I'm not any good at math. It's probably 150 feet to where that gate is, where the next support, right there, where the next support uh, post is. But what I ended up doing, which thank goodness the fence isn't on right now because I'm going to have to go under it. Oh yeah, by the way, the fence isn't on right now, obviously. My husband has it cut. Um, is using a metal T-post, attaching, this is just red brand metal um, tinsel for if you had the metal um, electric fence instead of having the poly rope. If you just have, you know, I'm talking about, uh, I could ramble on forever. So anyway, I put in my timeless T-post just like so. And then I took a metal T-post and I slammed it in right next to the timeless T-post, took the high tensile wire. Uh, red brand is my favorite brand. Uh, it's strong and it doesn't rust. But um, I just weaved it through the holes of the timeless T-post uh, away from the electric uh, poly rope. And then just attached it by just simply twisting little knots in the tensile wire. And that was a spider, but it's dead. I mean, it's just the skin. But anyway, um, I just twisted it like so, and it holds the corner really, really well. I have not had an issue at all with the arcing off or anything. It's, it's working like a dream. And as long as I make sure that when I put this T-post in, I have it down far enough, but not too far, the top of the timeless T-post hasn't even bent. So it's staying nice and straight. Um, it holds up well. I This, to me, worked a whole lot better than the post. Well, I don't know if it worked better. Let me not say it worked better. Let me say it was quick and easy and it's getting the job done. I was gonna show you another corner. So I'm, I'm doing the exact same thing here. Use the T-post. This one you can kind of see that the, the timeless T-post is bending a little bit, but it's still working perfectly. I do not have a problem at all with the uh, fence shorting out on the post. But anyway, the reason why I put a, a, a safety cap, spike safe uh, top on there is because this is the area where horses could get to and I just didn't want them to cut themselves on the top of the metal post because those things are dangerous. Um, but anyway, as you can see, this one bends a little bit, but I have this going this way, a part of it going up there and then I am having it pull this way as well um, to separate these two pastures because I'm hoping to do rotational grazing. Anyway, that's why this one, it, this post is taking a lot of pull. I mean, it, it has, it's being pulled in all directions. So it's like a parent, you know, being pulled in all directions at one time. So, but for the most part, I mean, the, the pole, the timeless T-post is still nice and straight, even though it has all that stress on it. If there's anything else that somebody would like to know about um, the timeless T-post that maybe I can help you with, just comment below and I'll do my very best to answer it. I can only answer it based on the experience in which I've had, uh, but I will do my very best. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you again next time. Bye.